Good evening, guys and dolls, cats and kittens. I hope you all are doing well out there. Happy Friday. I hope you're being safe, looking out for each other, looking out for other people, being willing to say something if you see something. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Gilgo case, the Gilgo Beach case. I'm going to try to keep from using that S word a lot so I don't have to keep cutting it out a whole bunch of times to get it onto that crappy old YouTube channel since they won't let you talk American English anymore. And the update I want to give you is in regards to the family. When this first happened, the BTK's daughter did step forward and offer condolences, solace, and her heart to the family and what they have to experience and go through right now in finding out that one of your family members comes from a very deep, dark, evil place. And although he hasn't been convicted yet, you know, the signs are not looking good. So again, there's like this little family that you've been part inducted to that many people don't want to be a part of. You know, the leftover family members that have to weather the storm after these people go out and commit atrocities. Then they're left in the face of the public and in the, uh, what do you call it, the news and all of the media to be described and to wonder, why didn't you know? Why didn't you do something? You had to be part of it or just feeling that they're scum because they had anything to do with this individual. And I can only repeat again, if you follow serial blah, 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 lore, then you know that these assholes don't tell people who they really are. Otherwise, one, they're going to get caught. Two, they want to live, you know, a double life like James Bond. So I don't believe these people knew what was going on. And many other people don't think so was either you're entitled to your own opinion on that subject but that's just my personal opinion on it the smiley face killer's daughter has stepped forward and started a gofundme account to help this family pay for their um separation from this man who's the suspected gilgo beach violator and they're going to uh, use that money to pay off lawyers fees to get the divorce and whatever's left to be able for them to go out and start a new life and get life solidified for them again, get the, you know, whatever was destroyed by the police search uh, to regain their family abode and to get just things that you need to function in day to day life. So Melissa Moore said she can definitely relate to Rex's wife, Asa Allara, because of her own trauma she suffered after her dad, Keith Hunter Jesperson, was convicted of murdering eight women in the early 1990s. Today, she says, I can use my voice and help Asa, who isn't in a place to speak about the terror and the horror she and her family are experiencing at this moment. As of Wednesday morning, the fund had raised more than $13,000 of the $25,000 goal-raising fund. The funds will go directly to a law firm representing Asa and her divorce in her name. The funds are also going to assist Asa and her family to divorce her alleged serial killer husband and any extra to start their new life for therapy basic needs for the children and to restore the home to its whole as evidence collection damaged or destroyed many critical household items so there you go guys let's see what happens over the weekend and i'm glad that people who have been through this are reaching out to this family to let them know what to expect we as a public can very um be very judgmental and very harsh on people I'm not trying to tell you what to think or what to say, but um, it doesn't hurt to allow people room to find out what the actual truth is and to believe that this family had anything to do with it. I don't know, but I guess the truth will come forward. You guys have a good weekend. Love you all. Take care. Look forward to talking to you in my next episode, my le next little update. Plus, I'll, of course, keep up with my other parts of the show as well. 
talk to you guys soon.